So I'm going to try to take two on this. Um, I don't know how to start a video, so uh, I stare into your soul um, while holding a uh, blueprint. Don't worry about it. We'll get back to that. Um, so I have uh, a modded server. Um, I know a lot of people don't play modded servers at all. Most of these buildings are prefabricated buildings. They're not even buildings I built. So they are mostly that. However, I did build a little shiny pretty road there. But that's out of cool blocks. But, as you can see, there is multiple things going on here. Um, first of all, you can see there's there's like these cool little tower thingies. The statues, they're, they're kind of throughout the compound here. Um, okay, I refer to it as compound. That doesn't help very much with that. But, there, you know, there's a lot of cool things uh, that can be done in this um, just as kind of a brief summary if, if you were trying to get into modded Minecraft because like me I've been playing this for over a decade now uh, and playing regular Minecraft does at a certain point get kind of boring and stale uh, I'm waiting for the next update because armor trims but outside of that I've been playing this I have regular Minecraft server you're not getting that one but this one for multiple reasons. Uh, one, there's so many things you can do, achieve. Uh, I am not even in creative mode, just FYI. Just here, I can prove it. Boom. Now, now I'm in creative. Now I'm, now I'm in creative mode. But, boom. Now I'm back in survival, but yet I'm flying. There's uh, things on armors called jetpacks you can get those why am i pointing in real life i you can't see me um nor can you see where i'm pointing even if i had a camera because i'd be pointing it away from unless i had behind let's not worry about that but they have all sorts of little different things and yes you're seeing that right that's like level 12 and 10 enchantments on more than one thing uh, you can't even see all the shit that's on this sword. But there's Venom, there's there's Looting 6. I only have Looting 6. Scavenger is another really cool one that doubles. It has a 10% chance to roll the loot table twice per level. Uh, and you can get that up to a really high level. Um, there's a lot of things. There's spells. Uh, there's the Bulldozer. We'll get back to that in a second, which is a really cool thing. Um... And there's a myriad of things here. I can hold down the left button and it'll pull up stuff like Venom. You can see Venom it does poison status, is knockback, you know, extra damage to protected enemies. Uh, living, it grows over time. It is, that's a, that's a strong boy 85 power. Uh, and there's things that have hundreds of health. I never renamed this sword, did I? Um, figure it out. Um, treasure. I still have yet to figure out what a lot of those mean. Um, we're moving on. Uh, this is some cool new things uh, that you have in this particular mod pack. Uh, this is Raid 1.53. I will be kind of showing you that in the main... What's it called? The, the thing in which you look at the thing, the, the screenshot thingy that I don't... I don't know. I don't do these things very much. I tried for a while back, and I, I've totally fucking forgot what they're called. This is Mystic Agriculture. Uh, these are amethyst seeds. And amethyst in this is not the same as amethyst in the regular. It's actually more powerful than uh, diamond. As you can see, they're kind of growing up there. A lot of these structures I have picked up out of the world that you can totally do that with capsules. They're kind of ridiculously OP. Um... They can grow anything gold. You have a harvester here. And then, as you can see, this has been going hard in the paint, getting all sorts of resources. Um, there's other parts of this that are, that are going on here that's not just that. This is, this is taking in. We'll get back. So there's a lot of stuff. Um, this is an inventory that I have, which is connected to a remote, which works across, as it says, all distance, all dimensions. 
Uh, and there's a bunch of dimensions. There is, here we'll go up here and kind of see a couple of them. So there is the twilight dimension. I have a lot of stuff to make a twilighty area over here. There's a twilight dimension you can go to. Uh, another cool... How did y'all get out? Y'all gonna die to mobs. All right, um, we'll go back to that. There is wizards you can trade with. They sell spells. There's all sorts of different things associated with that. I mean, there's conjure block, telekinesis, fluorescence. Uh, most of these structures uh, I have spawned in. These are, this is the stone tower question mark? Or the stone mage tower. Which can be found in the quest book, which we'll, we'll come we'll come back. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's the aether in this one. So if you miss the aether, you can come back to um, the aether. You also have the atome. More statues. We have the atome. I made a little bubble dimension for that one. Uh, the atome that's got a lot of uh, fairy scaraby stuff to it. They got trophies. They do different things. Like this one shoots arrows. That one just makes a sound. That one also just just makes a sound that arrows. Um, there's bounty boards. You can do a thing, turn it in, and you get resources. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're retarded. Um, no, no uh, ifs, ands, or buts on uh, if if it's gonna be good or bad. It's, it's random world stupidity. Like there's a beneath dimension. I made a little room for that. Um, you can go to beneath. That's uh, a mining-ish dimension. You have another type of dimension in made inside of this tower. Uh, it is a uh, what's this one? This one's the uh, uh, caverns dimension, which I still haven't got all of the caverns off. Of that. There's a ton of different cavern dimensions, but there's grief prevention. So if you have Let's say you built this area and you're like, oh, I don't want anyone to come up with TNT and destroy it. There is a thing. It's called claim chunks. I've claimed quite a large area, as you can see. Um, these claim chunks uh, prevent a lot of damage. It stops people from breaking blocks. It stops blocks from expiring. I don't need this many. I'm just Like, it stops blocks from exploding and dealing damage. Why did you all not... I told you to explode! Anyway, you... As you can see, nothing happens. Uh, it prevents all damages from happening via explosions. So you don't have to worry about griefing and creepers and a lot of stuff. So that's actually really cool. There's a ton of trees. See, there's like vibrant journeys. There's six billion and a half trees. Uh, and as you can see, I have like seven quintillion health. Um, there is a lot... In this mod pack, it is very, very cool. Um, if you join my server, it is not a pay to win. I, in fact, don't want any of your money. It's a server. It costs like 40 bucks a month or whatever. It's cheap. And cool carpets that you can have. And then, real quick, hold on. Even the nether is different. Um, the nether has different kinds of dimensions, different different mobs uh, that spawn here, uh, different types of things, as well as some of the old things and then some of the new things like, you know, Black Widow Spider, um, Soul Stone, stuff like that. So some of the other things that are in the mod pack are rather interesting. So you have things like this one's from the Mega Loot. And this one is from the random loot. Uh, as you can see, there's this weird, big, perfectly square chunk cut out. How did that happen? No, I'm not that efficient. Um, no, I'm not that good. What this is, is a bulldozer. One, two, three, four. It, from this point right here, some like it. from this point right here, it'll go forward, over four chunks left, up, uh, what did that be? Eight chunks, right? Because 16? Yeah. Eight chunks, and then one, three and a half chunks to the right of it, I guess, would technically be the center line. But yeah, anyway, it, it does that, and it does this. There was a wall and a chunk there, 
And now there is a chunk no longer, and you can watch it happen on small scale as well. Um, the entire thing is gone. It helps you remove things as wanted instead of as slowly. So there's also spells like Arcane Magnetism. I, I absorb all these things, and they all now magnetize to me. Um, and then I can just shove everything that I just popped out into a chest I made, which is a colossal chest, which everything funnels into. I had, what, 27,000 spaces in there? So a lot. But another really cool feature that, that is here is there is really fast building. Now, can I, can I help you? I was, I was trying to explain things. All right, bye. Uh, another really cool thing here is you can actually do a thing, another spell called block weaving, as well as you saw a lot of the things. I start here on that square, and then I just, boom. All of the, <sighs> fucking spider. All of these squares in between are now filled. Now, the other cool part is you could build up like this, and go, hey, I want the wall to be three wide and four tall. Well, guess what? Bam, three wide and four. T that that was two. I, I'm two. Like I said, two wide and four tall. Uh, now you have a two wide and four tall wall. Uh, this also helps with a lot of things like, oh, hey, I want to make a diagonal. So, hey, let me just do that. And then I can build boom. It really can you. Wow. Okay. Um does help kind of kind of terrible uh, demonstration because I'm trash but basically you can do shit like this and you as you see I'm building a slow diagonal and you can do all that shit uh, you can even build it in the singular strips it really doesn't matter and then you have another really cool thing get out of here you have another really cool thing that um, I need to light this motherfucker up um, I'll do that later when it's it's going to be a giant museum down here. Another cool thing is there's the tilde key on the left side is where this is normally um, schemed to, stacked to, set to, bound to, whatever mode you're using. And you hold it down and you break one and it just starts breaking them all. Anything that is of that and specifically that. So you see there's a bunch of coal. Whoop. All the coal gets mined. It's called vein mining. That's really awesome. Uh, next part is the, the thing that just popped up. There are jobs that I picked up off a plug-in. I had to reprogram and do all this other stuff to it, but irrelevant. Uh, there are jobs. There are jobs like miner, fighter, warrior, lumberjack, fisherman. Unemployed is not really a job. Um, doesn't really get you anything except for the static money that occurs over time. And... These things get you experience, which is kind of not as important. But uh, I've yet to figure out what that, why. Anyway, so that gets you money, which then you can go to the balance. I have $13,000. Well, you go, well, what do you use for $13,000? Well, kind sir, if you type in the simple command slash gsm open you're not going to have all these options it's going to just show you this you have the golden ho tavern you open that and you have a plethora of things you can buy you can buy gardening sites that helps harvest crops in a large area and replants them as well you know weeds and flowers you know site that removes all the leaves you know you can sell sticks you can sell bowls you can buy bowls you can uh, so string by string flint. There's ender orbs. These actually allow you to travel multiple times. There's this one brings you with it, which is very odd because it, it you could throw it a bunch and just like crash yourself. Fire beware. Um, <laughs> you can buy prismarine. The reason you can buy this is because guardians don't function the same in this mod pack. They're kind of fucked. You can't make a guardian farm very well. Um, so they're here. There's also other guardian lanterns. Uh, farms are not really a thing in this particular Minecraft, so you don't make a ton of farms. You don't need to make a ton of farms. There's really not anything I'm thinking of that I need a farm for. 
elytras don't need them. They're, you can fly. Um, you don't need gunpowder because you have bulldozer. You don't need a lot of things. You, In fact, a lot of the things you did have are, are now at this point not as needed. I, I don't know how to say it other than that. Why is that? What a fire starter. Why would you? Okay. All right. Well, that's just weird. Um, there are many pages of this. Um, the server is called the Golden Ho. And as you can see, you can even buy dragon eggs. So that's that's definitely interesting. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot with the dragons. These are all the fire ones, and then these are all the ice ones. So I spent up seeing out which ones are which. But anyway, there are more uses for the dragon egg in this one. A couple of them actually. Uh, as you can see, there's random loot. There's mega loot. Uh, they are of themselves their own beasts. Um, you also have another page here of, of other things. You have monster balls. That's how I actually captured most of the wizards. You can actually throw the uh, monster ball at most NPCs. You have all sorts of stuff. You have uh, the arcane lights because the, they're really, really annoying to, to make. But you can buy them here. You can buy and sell Neptunian ingots. Those are our water shits you can make. Peace candles which stop spawning in a three by three chunk uh radius so three up three down three left three right like so you put it in chunk one and then you go right down up a cube a three by three cube around it is is now spawn proofed um so that helps because it's old spawning rules so it's anything that's seven and under is, is counted as a spawnable chunk you can buy villagers because there's way more than just those type of villagers, you can't really set what the villager does because it's it's pre it's pre twelve, even though it says it's twelve. Yeah. Anyway, there's a bunch of stuff. There's these cool doors here that you can't get because the game decided it was going to be stupid, so I added these in here. Um, as of right now, there's only the terracottas I have in here. Uh, I will get to the concretes at some point when I start making concretes. I don't like just giving myself things. I like to actually make them and then put them in the shop. But these are here because you should be able to craft these, but crafting recipes are overlapping. So if you do play and you do find things like that, let me know. Like, hey, you need to put this in the shop because the crafting recipe is glitched and it only goes for this crafting recipe. It doesn't make this crafting recipe. There's a couple of things in here that are like that that I put in here. Because you can't technically make them outside of it because of glitches. There's a lot of mods in this pack. But, I digress. There's things like that you can buy. There's also a title list. So, I'm the master because I'm the host. So, yeah. But there are a ton of titles. As you can see, there's a bunch of different titles that you can actually have. You can have... All sorts of titles, titles, and there are more titles than this that you can have. I don't even have, I think there's a total of like seven pages of titles. So you can have all sorts of freaking titles. You can also go to the actual quest log, and this is a, a series of quests. And as you can see, there's multiple individual quests that you have here. Like you kill enough zombies, you get coins and XP levels and then it resets and you can keep going you can do the same thing with the ender dragon king of the end I made that one uh, you can get the, you can kill the end dragon a bunch of times you can kill the wither a bunch of times you can kill the guardians a bunch of times you know there, there's a lot of different things that you can attack here I even added things because you're like man a hundred levels how would you ever get uh, I have 292 that I don't even, don't even need or use. There's a bunch of pre-made structures like that clock tower. Let me hear that. That clock tower is a pre-made structure. Uh, that house is a pre-made structure. There's uh, mostly pre-made on these, these statues. I, I did upgrade them a little bit with some things, making them look prettier and all that. You know, this is a pre-made structure minus the, the gate which I made, which has a really nice little door that kind of hoof hoof in and out of existence because then it goes oh, 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 oh. you know um there's all sorts of creatures that you can have in here all if you if you want 
um, specific creatures that you want to have. You want to be a zoo master because I know there's plenty of people in my life that are that way. Um, you want to actually have all of the creatures that have ever existed in the game. You can do that as well. There's there's hippogriffs, there's affeteers, there's all sorts of stuff. Like I have this guy. Come here. We. Can you can you stop being a pain in every part of my butt? He uh, he flies right now. He's chained up so he doesn't fly away, and he's in a ball as well. But that's irrelevant. And then you throw him away. Pa, look at that. Now he's back in the thing. So you have creatures like that. They fly really fast. They're not really strong attacking, obviously, because they're just part of creatures. But they help you fly really fast. Um, th there's just uh, so many things. This particular biome I'm in, I think, is called the Mesa, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is their quote-unquote Mesa biome. Savannah. Wow, I am blind. Um, the Savannah biome. There, This is their particular Savannah biome. Another really cool feature here is the, obviously the mini-map on the corner, but if you press the letter J, you get a bigger overview mini-map of the area. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can see everything that I've kind of explored here. Um, like, this is a Mesa jungle biome. That's kind of cool. Uh, this is just a straight-up Mesa biome. Which leads into a couple villages and stuff. Um, if you see any circles that are like this one right here on the map, uh, that's a dragon's nest. If you see any circles like this here, I don't know what the hell that is. I really don't. I don't. I don't know what causes these, but they they just kind of happen. They're the part of the world generation. Maybe they're sinkholes. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're trying to represent. Maybe it's sinkholes. I don't know. But that's also an option here. There's certain dimensions that are in the, in the mod pack that aren't here because they are corrupted and they don't spawn properly. So yeah, they cause a lot of corruption. So I removed them. Uh, dimension doors and betweens are the two that I have moved currently. Every other dimension that I know of works properly. It's actually really cool. You also, in the bottom right, you have a, a bunch of shortcuts you can see about average. Oh, another cool thing is waystones. You can have a waystone to all sorts of things. It can be other dimensions. Uh, this is someone else who plays on the server. His thing called Casa. He has, he he really likes the caverns d dimensions. Um, when he built next to a giant floating island, which spawned naturally in this one, those are, are really cool. Here's another base spot that I found uh, that someone can definitely take over. This is an Illager outpost on a giant floating island. Like, this is the, the large Illagers that spawn outpost uh, on a giant floating island. That's pretty dope in my book. That's very dope in my book. There is a lot... In this mod pack, I would not mind having more people actually playing, so it's not just me most days. Like, pretty much all the days. That would be nice. But, uh, I digress. It's really just, uh, see if anyone wants to join the server. The, the server information will be in the, the description, hopefully, if I don't screw that up. Uh, as well as the Discord, if anyone wants to join the Discord. Um, that's, that's really, that's really it.